thinking about freedom. You are told that you are free to choose but your choice is limited. I want to move to another place of residence but they don't give me a visa. I want to change my place of work but everywhere you change the all for soap. I want to live in an ecologically clean area but I work in a dirty factory. I go to the polls and vote but the choice of candidates is disappointing. There is freedom to want something, but there is a reality far from these desires. Almost always when we think we are free, we are in fact within the bounds of what is permitted. Freedom is something that cannot be limited by a framework. Any limitation makes freedom out of what is permitted. There are two types of freedom that have no boundaries. Freedom of speech and freedom of opinion. This is the only thing in which a person should be free without the framework of what is permitted. I do not share your beliefs but I am ready to die for your right to express them. A catchphrase about the principles of freedom of speech attributed to Voltaire, without specifying the work. In the history of mankind, many times this freedom was destroyed and each time it returned in grief for the people. Times of the Inquisition. Any expression of one's convictions that does not comply with the norms adopted at that time will lead to torture and burning at the stake. Do you want to live in such a world? Russia at the beginning of the 20th century, censorships of communists' words and beliefs are only allowed. 1917 Neither the Tsar nor his censorship is gone. Civil war the blood of the people flows like a river. Stalinist times the limits of what is permitted. Any statement and even thought outside the bounds of arrest, torture, gulag, exile, shot, millions of lives lost, pathological lag of the USSR from world development. Totalitarian lies within the framework of what was permitted led the USSR to complete degradation and collapse. Fascist Germany, with the coming of the Nazis to power, the purge of all dissidents, expressing beliefs outside the bounds of what is permissible considered a crime against the German people. Arrest, torture, trial, concentration camp, shot, hanging. The result of the struggle against freedom of speech and beliefs ruins of Germany littered with corpses. Do you want to live in such a world? Ancient Rome. One man walked the earth, read sermons, taught people what went beyond what was permissible. He was arrested and crucified, his name was Jesus Christ. A huge number of his followers were sent to the arena to be torn apart for their words and beliefs. Do you want to live in such a world? Freedom of expression and opinion is inviolable. Words always hurt someone, excite someone to some action or inaction, but this is not a reason to put the limits of what is permissible. They tell you you call for violence and insult this crime you need to be punished. The punishment for my freedoms is criminal violence. Righteous violence against the criminal is necessary. All those who frame your freedom of speech and belief are immoral people and criminals. They led us to the arena of the Colosseum, to the gulags, to the ruins of Germany, to obscurantism, to immorality, to the collapse of society. Deal with others as you want to be treated with you, the golden rule of morality. This rule is rigidly connected with the rights and freedoms given to us from birth. The right to interact, association, cooperation. The right to dispose of property, health, time. Freedom of speech and belief are inviolable. Violence is a punishment for my freedoms and actions with my rights without my consent. Violence against rights and freedoms is a crime. Righteous violence against the offender is required. Right means to dispose and use. Freedom is without restrictions and without punishment. Any limitation of freedom is a framework of what is permissible. The sense of freedom in this case disappears completely. Join a group of noble, moral people. Links in the description. Introduce your friends with this information. See you next time.